Hi guys, I hope you guys are doing fine. Uh, I wanted to take this time today to continue where I sto uh, stopped yesterday uh, on the topic of relationship. So, as you guys remember, yesterday we talked about the two sides of uh, a human being, whether that is if they are dominant in the masculine factor or if they are dominant in the feminine factor. We also talked about the things that they, the masculine person does not like and what the feminine person does not like. Today, however, what I wanted to talk about is basically the, how, uh, the, the stressors in a relationship. Like how a person loses meaning uh, throughout the relationship part and how they lose attraction uh, to his or her partner. Uh, and, and there's actually four main phases in, in, in that stressor. Uh, the first phase is called the resistance phase. This is when, let's just take an example from the man's perspective. This is when, for instance, the man is getting criticized for a certain thing. It could be, for instance, that, uh, that the woman tells the guy, look, why are you so lazy? Why aren't you doing stuff? Look at yourself, right? You're getting, let's say you're getting fatter. You need to start going to the gym. I mean, obviously in, in the woman's head, she's just trying to make her him a better person. But in the man's world or the masculine world, uh, they're just gonna take that as a criticism. Crisis, uh, crisis, crisis. <laughs> yeah? So this is where we get into the resistance. The guy takes it in, he asks, him, he gonna ask himself like, why is she telling me this, this stuff? But then he's, he's gonna probably like, probably like just, you know, digest it and not do anything about it. And this is actually where most of the relationship goes wrong. In a relationship, you should actually be very open, right? You gotta be open to your partner, tell things uh, and connect better. So, for those who doesn't, they usually stack up their emotions and they get into the second phase, which is the phase of resentment. This is where you start labeling your partner uh, because you start hating the things that they tell you. Uh, and a label could be like, um, she is so annoying, um, she is so stupid, like, I don't know, so, like a certain label. And that label, even though it means no harm from your side, that label will actually uh, sub substitute what you actually feel for that person. And you start hating her for what she says or him for what he says. And again, if you do not share that with your partner, what happens is that you, get, you, you stack up those emotions and it becomes, uh, you go into this third phase, which is the phase of rejection. This phase is basically you trying to distance yourself this is basically you trying to like uh, think more of yourself and you kind of like become a different person. You kind of like, you know, the funny thing with our brain is that our brain is actually made or built in a way that uh, you can automatically go into a survival mode. This means that you actually just take care of yourself and you don't really take care of anyone else. So this is what, what really happens in the rejection phase you start kind of like not giving a lot to the relationship and you start focusing on yourself. But then after that third phase, you get into the fourth phase. And this is actually the most dangerous phase. And this is when it's called repression. And this is when you start believing that the relationship cannot be fixed. This relationship is actually, uh, this is the new normal. Like I'm not gonna show any emotions. She's not gonna show me any emotion. We're gonna focus on ourselves, and we're gonna, you know, just okay, take care of ourselves. And at this part, there are literally no energy between the two persons. There's no connectivity whatsoever between two, uh, those two persons. Um, so you see, this is why it's very important to have a very open conversation with your partner at the start, like literally at that, um, at that resistance uh, phase. Uh, because if you don't do anything about it, you're just going to stack up those emotions. And what happens after that? You're going to blow up. You're going to start saying things that you don't really mean. Um, one great thing that Tony Robbins said on the webinar uh, was that when it comes to love, you should think with your heart and not with your brain. 
Um, and that actually makes a lot of sense because most of the time, like think about it, when you are, let's say, emotionally angry, or if you try, if you, if you kind of like try to understand the way another person is doing what she or he is doing, you can't really make any logic with it. And to be honest, if you are in a relationship, you are in a relationship not to get anything, you are in a relationship to give, to give. Because at, at the end of the day, it's about creating that love. And, and also when it comes to um, relationship, most of the reason why it doesn't work, as I mentioned yesterday, is because, it's not because of love, it's because of there's no in intimacy. So yeah, um, that's actually what I wanted to tell. Uh, and this is all the aspects that Tony Robbins covered uh, from his uh, topic yesterday about relationships. I hope this helped. Uh, and I would be very happy if you could give me any feedback uh, in terms of like what you liked, what you did not like, and etc. Thank you.